Hello parents. Good morning students. Today I'm going to teach you mental maths. And the topic is mixed question. Question number one. Numerator of 7 by 27 is equals to dash. Now in fraction children, the number above the line is called numerator and the number below the line is called the denominator. So the numerator here is 7. Correct. Next, fill in the missing number. 72 divided by dash is equals to 8. Here you have to find the divisor. Now to find the divisor, you say your 8 times table till you come to 72? Yes. 8, 9 is 72. So we write 9. 9 is the divisor here. Next, 125 multiplied by dash is equals to 0. Any number multiplied by 0 will give you 0 as the answer. So, we will write 0. Question number 4. Difference between 4 by 9 and 3 by 9 is equals to. Now, here children, difference means subtract. Now, in this question, you see both the denominators are 9. So, we will write 9 as the denominator. Now, 4 Minus 3, you will get 1. So the answer is 1 by 9. Next, find the product of 8 and its successor equals to dash. Product means multiplying two numbers and you get the answer. The answer in multiplication is known as Product. So what is the successor of 8? 9. So say your 8 times table. 8 nines are 72. So your answer is 72. Next. 75 into dash is equals to 75. Any number multiplied by 1 will give the number itself. So we will write 1. 75 ones are 75. Question number 7. Tick the quotient 345 divided by 5 is equals to 69. Quotient here means answer in division. So which is the quotient in this question children? 69. Next, dash is half of 90. Now you have to find half of 90. To find half of any number, you have to divide by 2. So, divide 90 by 2. And what will you get? Yes, 45. Next, 27 Divided by 1 is equals to dash. Any number divided by 1 will give the number itself as the answer. So here the answer is 27. Next, find 2 ninth of 45 is equals to dash. Of means multiply. So we will multiply 45 into 2. What will you get? 90. 90 divided by 9. The answer will be 10. So 10 is your answer. Question number 11. Express the fraction in words. 2 by 5. Words means in Spelling. So the answer is two fifth. 
Next, 17 by 50 plus 5 by 50 minus 2 by 50 is equals to dash. What do you notice in this question, children? All the denominators are the same. So, I will write 50 as the denominator here. Now, first we will add 17 plus 5. So, 17 plus 5 will give you 22. Correct. Now, 22 minus 2. What will you get? 20. So, the answer is 20 by 50. Next, write the quotient of 8 and 0. Quotient here is the answer in division. So, when you divide any number by a 0, you will get the quotient as 0. So, the quotient here is 0. Question number 14. Write a fraction for the shaded part. Now, can you see this figure, children? First, we will count how many parts it is divided. One, two, three, four. Now, divided into four parts, so four will be the denominator. Out of four parts, how many parts are shaded? Shaded or colored? Just one part. So it is 1 by 4. Next, question number 15. Add 400 to the product of 5 and 4. Once again, children, product. Product means multiply two numbers together. And the answer in multiplication is called product. So 5 fours are 20. 20 plus 400 will give you 420. Dash halves make a whole. Take an apple, cut it into half. How many halves will you get? Two halves. So, two halves make a whole. Question number 17. 32 tires will be fitted on dash Cars. On one car, how many tires, children? Four. So now, say your four times table till you come to 32. Yes. Four eights are 32. So the tires can be fitted on eight cars. Question number 18. Write the fractional number for nine thirteenth. 9 by 13. Question number 19. Put the correct sign. Greater or lesser. 1 by 5 dash 3 by 5. Now when you have the same denominator, you look at the numerator. Which numerator is bigger? 3 is bigger. So, 3 by 5 is greater than 1 by 5. Question number 20. Dash quarters make a whole. You take a figure, divide it equally into four equal parts. Each part is called a quarter. So, how many quarters make a whole? Four quarters make a whole whole. Now children, the worksheets related to this topic will be uploaded on the school website. Parents, you are requested to kindly go through them and help your child to do the work given. Thank you.